Alright, so you've probably seen those pictures where the foreground is really clear and the background's quite blurry and it creates a very shallow field of depth. This effect is called, sorry if I mispronounced, the bokeh effect and if you don't have a camera fancy enough to actually do that effect while you're taking photos, you can actually fake that in Photoshop, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So if we hop into Photoshop and create a new... Uh, is it gonna work there we go a uh, new document and uh, just 1400 by 1400 why not um, background white resolution 72 and create so I'm just gonna go and open one of the images that I prepared for this tutorial and this is a picture of me made that I took uh, a few weeks ago so I'm just going to unlock this so I can drag it over to the 1400 by 1400 and Control T is going to allow me to resize it to fit the frame. So if I just resize it like so, and I can make sure that the subject is in the foreground and he's taking up most of the area. So this is me, mate Nathan. I'm just going to go ahead and select the quick select tool and I'm gonna make the size a bit larger and make sure out of these boxes up here you've got the middle one selected and all you're gonna want to do is select the layer of the picture and just select the subject in the foreground and just go through and if you accidentally go outside the area of the subject just hold alt and go over those areas so I'm just gonna try and do this as quickly as possible just go around and get his nose there and I think we are done so what you're gonna do now is press Control and J and that's going to copy what you've just selected to another layer so as you can see down here I've got two layers so this bottom one is just the picture but the top one is Nathan by himself um, I messed up on the nose there a little bit sorry Nathan uh, but uh, now what you're gonna do is because this layer is clear you're gonna take the background layer select it go to filter blur Gaussian blur sorry it's been a bit slow because I'm recording and select a blur of anywhere from four to five I think I'll go for I think I'll go for I don't know 4.4 why not random number so there we go now you can see I've got a very clear focus of the subject which is Nathan and then the background is quite blurred which creates a bokeh effect and now if I uh, show you another example which is uh, where is it? Okay. And now this is a picture which I already did the bokeh effect on and put on my Instagram. So this is the picture right now. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool with uh, the bokeh effect on it. And this was taken by Nathan actually. And if I go and select the quick select again. And uh, while I'm doing this, I might as well tell you now. The bokeh effect is probably used when the subject takes up most of the area on the page and it and you want it to be the main focus of the picture so yeah so I'm just gonna select the lion statue uh, I think uh, just for your information uh, I think this lion statue is just the one just outside Chinatown in Newcastle is it Newcastle Gateshead can't remember but uh, yeah I'm just trying to get those edges down there at the bottom and I think that we are now done so what I'm gonna do is press ctrl G to bring that to a new layer and now with this layer as you can see I've isolated the lion and in the background I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna go to oh because this picture has a uh, wider resolution it's gonna be harder to see the blur so uh, that's way too much uh, I think around 15 Let's see how that works. Yeah, 15 is good, right? So I've selected 15 and there you go. We have just created the bokeh effect on this lion and this picture of Nathan. So yeah, that is it. And of course, if you don't like the style, you don't have to do it. But I think the bokeh effect adds a lot more professionalism to it. Like you're actually using a very high quality DSLR. Whereas in fact, you, you might be using a really cheap compact or a point and shoot that can't create the bokeh effect as nicely as you can fake it in Photoshop. So that's a tutorial done. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials that you want to see on Photoshop, then let me know or even video editing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.